So today we will speak a little bit about periods and all that. Then we will speak about products mainly. And in that, um, I won't be telling you use this product. This is the best product. But we're going to do like a, um, uh, like an analysis. We'll look at five products. We'll look okay. What is this factor? This factor? This factor? Then we'll give them a ranking. First to sixth, fifth ranking. We will do that. So for that, we need your participation. So in the this table I've written. Because for every product, we are going to look at five different menstrual products. Okay, for everything we are going to look how to use it, how is it made, what is inside it, how how long lifespan na, how long can you use it, and disposal. How do you dispose of it? Cost. Then we will see what are the advantages, disadvantages of each product. Then finally we will rank from the five products. What do you personally feel? Okay. So this is something. Feel free to have your own opinion, no problem. Whatever you think, whatever doubts, whatever fears, don't worry. Have the ask me the question, or we can discuss it together. Okay. So, in this, we are going to crit critically analyze. Okay. So now, as products, what do you use now? For every every month for your periods, what do you use? Stay free. Stay free. Menstrual, cup. Menstrual cup. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. E Use uh, Ecofem cloth pads. Okay, so different ranges. How do you like your products right now? Do you like it? Do you feel? Why do you like it? How do you How do you feel about it? Mm. So it absorbs well. Okay. Then what else? Mm. 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 So you are getting irritations from the stay free. So you preferring cloth pads. What about you? It's like you can forget that you have your period. You can forget that you have your periods if you have a cup. Okay, we'll look at all these different things. Okay, don't worry. Nobody is going to say use this or you're going to jail. Okay, <laughs> so this is more just to have a look. This is a what is this? Stay free. Stay free. Stay free. So stay free. It could be ultra carefree, whatever. It's a disposable pad, right? So it's a disposable pad. How do you use it? You. Everybody is familiar with this, right? So you remove it, then you stick it on your underwear. You take the the sticker. And some will have wings, some might not have wings. But basically, you have it like this. This is facing up, right? So this is how we use it. Now, do we? Uh, do you know how it is made? Where it is made? Uh, you don't know. So mainly with these disposable pads, they're made in big, big factories, no? Whisper, Stay Free, they're big companies. So they make it in big factories and um, with big, big machines they used to make it. Uh, do you know what is inside? Plastic. There's plastic, yes. Cotton. Cotton. Cotton, yeah, what else? Gel. Some gel, it could be, yeah, some may have come with that blue gel, no? Ultra absorbent gel. What do the advertisements say? <laughs> no. They, if you say, they will come, use Whisper. And then there will be like a girl with long, straight, shiny hair. She'll be wearing a short skirt, white and white, right? She'll be playing tennis. What does she do? She's a modern girl. She wears this disposable pad. She, if you wear it, you can also become like her, right? What does the advertisement say? You will be carefree for uh, when you are outside. You can be worry-free if you're wearing these pads, right? How does it say? No worries. Don't have a care. You can wear this. You'll be free. Right? What does the advertisement say? And and what do we think? Oh ho! If we buy this pad, we will also become like her. Right? When you see the ad for sun silk, you see this shiny hair. Oh ho! If I be buy sun silk, if I buy fair and lovely, what will happen to my face? What will happen to my hair? That's why we buy products, right? In the advertisements, they show us something, then we think, aha! If we do that, it will happen for us too. Right? That's how advertisements work. But what do you know about advertisements? Do they say everything? If you use this sun silk too many times, your hair will fall out. Do they say that? <laughs> no. If you use fair and lovely, so much of fair and lovely on your face, only a lot of cream on your face, no difference, no? They don't tell you that, right? But, so if you look in the, the back of the packet, of the whisper, of the carefree, of the stay free, do they say what is inside it? No. If you see also, because sometimes in the chips packets, they have say potato 10%, oil 20%, they say no. But in this, if you see, it will not be there. Because the regulations, there is no regulations. There's no law that says you have to put the ingredients on in the back. But you see, if they put the ingredients in the back, maybe we won't buy it. 
no because we don't if we know maybe we will choose not to buy it so we have to know right so if you see these paths especially stay free whisper carefree ultra all the big big brands right nowadays if you see most of the paths they are about 90% plastic yeah the 10% could be cotton or they say maratul you know maratul the wood pulp it's uh, that uh, uh, that wood pulp that they make into a nice powder and and then they add it to the to the the existing cotton plastic whatever is inside there now the wood pulp um what uh, what color is it the maratul brown light brown color um how do, how then does it become white so these pads are very white right always ultra white it it comes then only we know oh this is a clean pad right so this white it comes because the pad goes through um whatever is inside the cotton the wood pulp it goes through bleaching process you know with bleach uh what do you use bleach for cleaning, cleaning the bathroom the toilet all that will you touch it with your hands you try not to touch it it will burn no this is very a lot of chemicals so if you see inside um, a, a big company disposable pad you should be most of the ingredients many of the ingredients go through some bleaching process to make it very white now the pads that come with the gels no the ultra absorbent gel for extra absorption all night protection all that they say no if you see those pads the gels contains a lot and lot of chemicals they call polymers ultra absorbent polymers somebody did a research i think on one of the pads i don't know which company and they found that one pad can contain up to 400 different chemicals so it's a lot of different unnatural ingredients inside a pad uh, the thing is especially because it's gone uh, say some of the ingredients can be like you know what's found in your nail polish remover the spirit no that ingredient can be in the um something from the thermocol when they make rubber tires the thermocol whatever ingredient is inside they found traces of that inside here as well the gels can make it much much more um absorbent takes more blood you no know? you keep it for longer but it also comes at the cost of more chemicals inside so we need to be we need to know this because knowing that after that we can make our choices no whether we like it we continue to use it okay but we need to know what's inside what do you do after your you use your pad what do you do only one time use no can you rewash it and use it no what do you do after you use your pad you burn it anybody else burning it what else can you do throw it in your in your dustbin or outside right what else ah uh, so you dig a hole and you bury it right okay so there's different ways right okay so especially when you burn it when the bleaching processes have been done no when you burn plastic first of all burning plastic what do you know about it is it good no because it releases a lot of poisonous gases no especially because of these chemicals inside it releases certain chemicals uh, called dioxins dioxin now dioxin has been linked to various cancers in our body so we have to be aware that especially burning plastic burning these pads it releases even more chemicals and it pollutes everywhere no? it causes air pollution so breathing it in can cause problems for our body you're throwing it where does it go landfill. in the landfill so it goes by all the rubbish is but then have you seen in your village all the, the dogs eating it the cows eating it we have all seen it right so disposal if you throw it away kana apka kannukile illa illaya it is going out of sight right but it is also affecting somebody else right so if you put it also or somebody else is finding it another dog or cow or whatever is finding it is eating it it can cause damage to the animal so it doesn't only affect us okay you throw it or you dig a hole you bury it if you eat a banana and you put it on the ground how long does it taste take to decompose one month so about two weeks to one month depending on the weather right what about a pad thousands of years it's not one year yeah yeah so one pad takes between 500 to 800 years 
and it also will not fully decompose because it's made of plastic also no? so it will break down but it won't fully go but at least 500 to 800 years we know that that's a long time so that's one pad that you use that your if you throw that your daughter your granddaughter your great granddaughter your great great granddaughter it will be exactly the same even when they come right so let us know this so this is a fact of a disposable pad right okay we use it we throw it we, it uh, takes that long but okay how many bags do you use a month one packet, one packet two packets five pads five pads so five pads to 10 pads right we use every month depends on your periods if it's two days three days four days you might use more right um, five to ten pads a month how many pads is that a year let's take ten pads a month how many pads one year 120 pads a year how many years will you get your periods what age will it stop about when you're when you're around 48 50 years old menopause will happen then your periods will stop right okay so you will be menstruating for about 35 to 40 years yeah so for 40 years for easy calculation we take 40 years every year 120 pads how much is that for your life 120 times 40 4,000 close 4,800 okay so 4,800 to 5,000 pads one woman uses in her lifetime right okay so how many women in your village <laughs> 500. 500 okay how many uh, women in the this area this Tamil Nadu uh, oh. Oh -ho. some lakhs at least yeah or oh, maybe one crore who knows okay what about India how many crores <laughs> yeah they say you know three how many billion women in India uh, at least 500 million women in India okay okay what about the world okay let's take okay we start from Annai Nagar we can go to Tamil Nadu we can go to India then we can go to the world right if all of us women are using 5,000 pads in our lifetime where are they going to go okay we have to think already we know we see in our village this plastic problem everywhere right this plastic pad is also part of that problem so let's know this we cannot hide from it this is the truth right let's take it okay so using these pads does have a disposal problem there's no easy way to dispose of it best way is to bury a hole and put it in the ground but at least it doesn't affect anybody else no if you burn it it's affecting everybody it's affecting you if you throw it it's affecting the dogs the cows the whatever is eating it but at least if you dig one hole and put it in okay it takes 500 to 800 years but it does not affect anything else so yeah that yeah it does happen actually that's true it does it does affect but it the least effect of all the different options right you can also burn it at extremely very very high temperatures you know the hospitals they have the big fire no that that way it releases less chemicals but we don't have access to that so in our homes we can't do that right it doesn't come to that temperature so best way for us right now is to dig a hole and bury it okay so we have done all this cost okay how many how many rupees you spend in a month 40. 40 rupees yeah between 40 and 80 depending on the brand depending on the thing you can spend 40 to 80 rupees okay so it does every month you do spend money what is this cloth. what what call cloth normal. normal cloth what material is it made out of cotton, cotton. cotton. this one is cotton cloth yeah. feel it <laughs> where do you get it how is it made just like waist clothes no so from your nighty or your power day or whatever some cotton cloth you get it so it's locally your what is in your home how do you use it has anybody used just cloth before how, all of you have tried it no you have not tried it you have not you've tried it not tried it how, what when did you use it no, when you were younger hmm? in the years of this in the sleeping time okay so how do you how do you wear it you wear it like this you fold it like this okay so depending on the thickness of the cloth then you make it into a rectangle you insert it right and then you do it's showing like how the pad is you use it underwear up and use it yeah then what do you do with it wash. you wash it how many of you wash and reuse it or you throw it away wash and reuse, wash and reuse. okay what is inside the cloth you said cotton right so 
It's true, it is just cotton. If you're using a cotton cloth, it's only cotton, you know what is inside it, right? So there's no hidden ingredients. There's whatever is used to dye the cloth. If it's a color cloth, there's a dye in it. But otherwise, we know it's only cotton. We don't know there's 400 chemicals inside. We know this is the ingredients inside. Um, how long do you think you can use it, wear it and use it before you throw it away? Four months, four times, for four periods, okay. It changes, right? Sometimes for something, some women two months they use it, some women use it for one year. Depends on you how the cloth is, how you want to use it. But you can reuse it. And when you dispose of it, what do you do? You throw it in the dustbin. Okay, anybody else? Anything else? You can throw it in the dustbin. You can burn it. It's okay. If you're burning it also, it doesn't release like how the disposable pad does. If you throw it, it will decompose, right? It's a natural material. It will decompose. Okay. Cost? No cost. No cost. Okay. If you have it at home, it's easy. No free, no spending money. Why do we use a disposable pad? It's more comfortable. It's comfortable. It's easy to use. What else? Going to college. Going to college. Why? Why? What do you like about it? The bag is covered. The it the it doesn't leak, right? You have no fear staining, no problem, right? Easy to dispose. Easy to dispose. Well, easy to dispose is that you throw it away. But after that, we don't know that we see. But easy like. It's easy to use, you take a sticker, you put it, you know that it doesn't leak, so there's some proof. Also the sticker is there, so it doesn't move around. Is that also a reason that you like to wear it? There are some reasons, right? There's no doubt. There is a, this is a very functional product. Um, but what do you think would be the disadvantages now of this product? We saw, no? There's chemicals inside. You think that's a disadvantage? Yes. Yes, okay. What else? The disposal, what do you think could be the problem with the disposal? It's there for a very long time. It's there for a long time. You think it's a disadvantage? Well, we saw the options of disposable, right? What do you think about burning it now? Like, what do you feel? Is it good to burn it, bad to burn it? Why do you think that? It's a and body. And your health, yeah. So there's problems with burning it, right? There's problems with burying it, throwing it away. Kanamudi. Put it in the back. Disadvantage, advantage? Disadvantage. It does pollute, right? So there are some disadvantages, you agree, right? Um, cost also is there, right? Okay, for cloth, what do you think is the advantage? You can reuse, is the advantage. Cost, yes, very true, very good. <laughs> Save the money, okay, then? It's easy to dispose. Less environmental. In environmental impact, less. So pollution is less, right? What could be the disadvantage? It's uncomfortable, I think. It's a kid, is it uncomfortable? What about, what do you think? You use it, you feel it comfortable, not comfortable? You feel comfortable. What about others? Why you think, oh... It's quickly, it's, it's yeah. cloth. It quickly, depending on your level of bleeding and the thickness of the cloth, it could leak through, right? Yes, what else? Will you use a cloth? You will use a cloth. You feel anything, mm, I don't want to use it? No, no. okay. So, there are some disadvantages like you said, right? What we are going to see in this process is that every product, whether it's Ecofem or whether it's cup or whether it's cloth or whether it's disposable, has advantage and disadvantage depending on your needs, okay? So, there's no perfect product. This is the product if you use, your life will be changed. There's no perfect product. So, it's up to you to see what product is right for you. Do you know what this is? Have you seen this? Anybody? You have seen this before? You have seen this before? You have seen it? You have seen it? You have seen it. You have not seen it. Okay. So what is it? It's a cloth pad. Cloth pad. Okay. So there's two models. There's many models, but this is the two main models. Um, so one, it's like this. You put a button. So it holds like a disposable pad. It will keep on your underwear. This last is a leak proof layer so it's like an umbrella layer it's a thin layer of lamination on a cloth so it prevents the uh, blood from leaking okay this is made of cotton this is another model it looks like that so it looks like a cloth okay so then you can fold it but it has a leak proof layer no leaking and then it has the buttons the same way as that you can put it like that and you can use it 
like this. Okay. How is it made? So it's made here in locally in this area between 15 and 20 women stitch the pad. So it's not made in big, big factories with big machines. Local women may stitch the cotton. So it's supporting their income. Okay. Um, what is inside? So if you see, it's just organic cotton. It's about six or seven layers of cotton cloth. Okay, just cut like this inside. And the last layer is the leak proof layer. Lifespan. Okay, one pad, you can use it for 75 washes. Okay, so that's two to three years at least. One, one pad, you can wash and reuse. Okay. Disposal. What is it made out of? What is it made out of? Cotton, right? So disposing it, it's same like your cloth, you can easily dispose it. Only that last layer has got a thin layer of plastic to prevent it from leaking. Only that layer you have to remove, that you have to bury it or put it in with your plastics. The others you can put in the ground, it will disappear or you can burn it, it will also go. Okay. Um, cost. Do you know how much it costs? No. Uh, so one pad, it costs, uh, it used to be 50, it's 80 rupees now, um, but potentially uh, Tamarai would spend 40 rupees and you would pay 40 rupees if you want to buy a pad. So each pad would be 40 rupees. Now if you do the calculation, how many pads do you think you will need? Cloth, if you're using fully cloth pad for one period. Four. Four to six pads, depending if you have a lot of periods, maybe six pads you need. So you say, okay, you're, you're putting 40 rupees for the pad, right? Six pads, 240 rupees. That you spend 240 rupees, how many years? No spending. For three years, you don't have to spend any money, okay? Whereas if you're buying other things, maybe you have to spend 40 rupees every month, 80 rupees every month. One year, you spend at least 500 rupees. So you keep that long term, you do save money if you buy a cloth pad. But of course, if you use cloth at home, then long term you don't have to spend anything also. So that is also there. Advantages? What could be the advantage of this pad? Might feel comfortable, you can reuse then. How is it for the environment? Is it good, bad? It can be half bad, half good. Except for that last layer, generally you reduce waste, right? So if you're using disposable, you switch to this, you do reduce waste. What about for your health? Have you noticed with, um, how is it, how is it, how do you feel when you wear it? You know what is inside a pad, no secret ingredients. How do you feel when you wear it? I feel comfortable. You feel comfortable? Not irritating. Not irritating. How many of you get irritations actually now? Some itching, rashing, you don't get? Itching. Itching? Yeah. Do you get it from, what, what product are you using? You. You used to get it from? From stay free. Okay, what about you? You get any itching, rushing from the this, from this stay free? Okay. Anybody else? Comfortable? No problem. Some women can get itching and rashes from the disposable pads, right? Um, do we know how to wash this, this pads? It's very easy. Yeah, cold water. Yeah. So you take a, a mug of cold water or a bucket of cold water, normal from the tap. And you put the pad inside and you let it soak. Let it ura uh, uh, So about at least I use it, I, I put probably one hour, two hours, I leave it. Then all the blood will come out. If you use hot water, what happens is the blood will stick to the pad. So you'll get stains, no? So I would say use normal water. Let it soak one hour, two hours if possible. If possible, then it will come out. Then two minutes, you take a soap, just no brush. If you use a brush, it will damage the thing. Then just uh, as you normally would wear, wash anything, you just nicely alisify in, in a clean water. Then you dry it in the sunshine, if possible. Best thing is if the sun puts on the cloth, then it will kill the bacteria, no? So it's very good to let it dry. You can dry it inside also, especially if it's raining, but you have to make sure it's 100% dry. It's a little bit wet also, then bacteria, all the germs will come on it. So it's very important, it's dry. Okay, so then it's easy. If you're outside, uh, maybe show me. And you're coming to work, you you want to change. What what can you do? You cannot wash it at work. You cannot wash it at college. Then you can use it. Then you fold it like this. Okay. If it's this pad or the other one, you can easily fold it into a square. Then it will dry inside. There will be no smell. It won't leak. Then you can put it in a surkupai or a storage bag or whatever bag you have. Close it. Take it home with you. Wash it. Okay. So. 
if you feel comfortable to do that, I do that a lot, then you can easily go home, take two or three, wash it, then you can dry it and reuse it, okay? Disadvantage? <laughs> think about it. Yeah, maybe if you have you've been using disposal, maybe you think, okay, now I have to wash it. That will take some time. Maybe I have, oh, I don't want to touch my blood. You know, maybe some fear might be there, right? Is it there or not? Little bit is there, yeah. It's a new thing. Fair enough. So you might think, this if I buy it, I have to change my habit a little bit. It's there, the fear is there. Anything else? You have to buy it, so you have to spend a little bit of money, that is there. But long term, you have to see where you save money. How many of you have seen this? You've seen it. Anybody else? What does it look like? It's called a tampon. Have you seen a tampon before? So far, we have seen products that you put outside on your underwear, right? This is inside. So you put it inside where the blood comes and then the string will be outside. So you have to insert it where the blood is and then you keep it for four hours, six hours. Then it will absorb the blood, it will become bigger. Then after four hours or six hours, you pull it out, throw it away, you burn it, whatever you do. So a lot of women like to wear it because um, if they wear it, they can go swimming. No, you don't have to, like if you have a pad, it's a bit difficult. Thank you. So I'll show you how to use it. So when, you, when it goes inside your body, watch it. It becomes bigger, no? So it absorbs and until it becomes this size, it can absorb, then you pull it out. Oh, don't, <laughs> there's so much fear on your faces right now. How is it made? It's also made in big, big factories. So it's big companies that make the tampons. But women around the world, in the cities, they like to use it because once you use it, you get used to it, then it's easy, you know, then you don't have anything on, you know, jeans, if you wear jeans or pants, there's no outline, you can go swimming. So they feel it's free to use it. So they like to use it. Uh, what are the ingredients? So a tampon is made out of rayon material. You know rayon? So rayon is like a, another artificial material. And if you, when I pass it, you can see it, it doesn't feel like cotton, no? It's like, um, uh, it, it's bleached also. It's bleached white. And it's, some will have cotton inside. Um, and it also absorbs and some might have gels to make it super absorbent. Um, you also get organic cotton ones, but it's very rare. You, in India especially, it's very rare to find organic cotton tampons, but it's available. Um, Lifespan and disposable uh, disposal, it's one time use. After one time, you cannot rewash and reuse it. You have to throw it away, okay? And disposal, same like the disposable pad. Because it has rayon in, and it does have bleaching and chemical processes, to burn it is a problem. To bury it, it's less waste because it's small compared to a disposable pad, but it also creates the similar waste. Cost, anybody knows? It is, in India, it's expensive. So in a packet, eight to 10 tampons, it's about 100 to 150 rupees. So it's a, it's a bit of money, yeah? So I show you, yeah, have a look. You've seen it before. Yes, have a look, please. At least you don't have to use it, but have a look. Then you ask me questions. So what do you think could be the advantage of a tampon? No advantage. What could be the advantage? <laughs> what could be the advantage? You can use it, then you can go swimming, no? If you want to go swimming, if you know swimming, you can go swimming, right? You don't have to be four days, you don't have to be away from the water. Then you can, if you are comfortable with it, then it's another product that's easy to use. Advantage. Small product, less waste compared to disposable, yeah? But what could be the disadvantage? If not, it will leak a lot. Uh, it will leak if it gets full. After six hours, it showed you the size, no? After that, it cannot absorb. So usually between four to eight hours you can use it inside. For, for, one. for one. Depending on your bleeding time. Yeah, how much you bleed. Yeah. Oh, any other questions? <laughs> usually there's one question, you know. But if I use this, how what about urine? What will I do? I have to remove it every time I have to go to the urine? No? What what happens? <laughs> yeah. How many holes do we have? Three. What comes out of our body under under this? What comes out? Nothing comes out. <laughs> ah, what comes out? Bath, bath. Which bathroom? Two bathrooms. Two bathroom, one bathroom, then periods. Periods and white discharge, right? For that to come out, how many holes do we have? Three. Everybody knows that for sure? Everybody knows that for sure? You're sure? Is it three or four or two? Three. Three. Ah, yes, it is three holes. Okay? If you don't know, go and look today. 
okay <laughs> don't feel shy it's your body you have to see it who if you don't who will who will know about it you know go and have a look so this is the urinary bladder from this the urine comes this is the uterus or the garbhapai this is where the blood and the baby will come this is the the, the rectum from this the two bathroom will come so if you use the tampon what will happen it will be in the second one so there's no disturbance to the urine so you don't have to worry about that anything else any other question about it it's big yeah if you're not used to it especially but during your periods because the blood is already there you can put it inside it won't be as painful as if it is before your periods you know so it it does if if you get used to it it's no it's not a pain at all you just have to know how to insert it right so for that you have to learn your body a little bit yeah um any uh, what are the uh, advantage you think okay disadvantage other than fear of putting it inside the Yes, it's a very good point because the bleaching chemicals, all the absorbent chemicals that are inside, you're really letting it inside your body, no? So you have to think, okay, do I feel comfortable with that? And you have to understand. Some with tampons, there used to be something called toxic shock syndrome, um, which used to be that um, um, because the, if you you're inserting it inside your body, there's a, it's an infection that used to happen that was quite dangerous for women. Nowadays, very less, but it is one of the risks of using the tampon okay and the cost how do you feel about the cost it's a high no otherwise every month you have to keep spending also have you seen this before okay this is called a menstrual cup <laughs> so this is called a menstrual cup okay so this if you fold it like this or if you fold it like this it's an internal product, same like that. You can fold it like this. It's better actually because it's small. Then you insert it inside and this opens inside, okay? Blood will collect. You can use it for up to 12 hours inside, okay? Then the blood, if it depends on your bleeding, sometimes 4 hours, 8 hours. If you're heavy bleeding, you have to change it. Then you pull it out, empty it, wash it, use it again. So one cup, you can it's it's also uh, the cup is also it, the women women don't make it it's made in factories also but smaller factories cups are not a huge big industry um, ingredients one cup uh, is made out of silicon it's called medical grade silicon you know so it's long term study has not been made on it but they're saying that medical grade silicon is not harmful for the health it doesn't have the hidden chemicals like a disposable pad one cup is 10 years uh, and it doesn't decompose so after 10 years you have to throw it or bury it but because you're using it for 10 years only this cup waste is less or more it's less yeah before you use it every month you have to sterilize it in boiling water for 10 minutes but then uh, when during your periods if you wash it in soap and put it back inside it's okay okay mm. so Maybe the first time, the second time, because also we have a lot of fear, it could pain. How was your experience, first time, second time? Like, it doesn't hurt what's inside, mm. but putting it inside. Sometimes, yeah, putting it inside, especially if this is very new, it could, little bit, you have to learn how to do it. So first two, three times, it could be uncomfortable, but you breathe, then as you relax, because one fear is, okay, if I put it, what if it goes on top? No? What if it keeps going up and up? How will I take it back? What do you think? It could be a fear, right? So, what do you think? Can that happen? Yes, every month I'm scared it's going to get lost. You're scared it'll get lost? It won't get lost. You know why? I told you about the cervix, no? What is the cervix? Where is the cervix? In the middle. here, no? So, every woman is different, but usually, like within this this distance your cervix should be there so uterus will be here or here depending on your height all that it will change but the cervix at a certain point not more than this you will reach the cervix okay the cup will reach the cervix and it cannot go more the whole of the cervix is so small so it cannot go up and disappear so only up till here it can be then you can use your fingers and you can pull it out so you cannot lose the cup inside you don't worry okay after a point there's one barrier you cannot go above so it will stay so disposal, you have to throw, it won't decompose. Cost, one cup is between 400 rupees and 1000 rupees to buy. But you buy it one time, 10 years, you don't need to buy it. So long, long term, what do you think? Saves money or not? Yes. It does save money. Yeah, you can have a look. 
<laughs> you for you first. <laughs> what is the advantage? You're saying ten years. What is the advantage in that? You save money. What else? Ten years. How is it for the environment? It's good for the environment, right? Yeah. Then it's um, it's once you learn to use it, it's easy enough to use it. Yeah. What could be the disadvantage? It hurts. Sometimes. Pain. Yeah. If initially, the first two three times, there's a there could be some pain. There could be some lot of fear, right? It is also it's made from silicon, and it's true. One of the things we don't know is long term. Over 20 years, 30 years, how does it affect our health? We actually don't know. Although lots of women are using it and they feel it's safe. Okay, but we the truth is we don't know. That's true. That's some knowledge we don't have there. What else? Uh, you see these holes here? This is what creates the vacuum inside. Like this, it'll go, it'll hold. It won't move. Okay, but after it's full, it will leak because it will through the holes or whatever. Um, I use I used to use a cup. Okay, and when it was full, my periods, for my second day is very heavy bleeding. So second day, if I leave it for more than four hours, it will leak. Two or three drops will come, and I know, okay, it's full. I have to change it. You feel it inside. It feels like, oh, it's too full. I think if you're sensitive, you can feel it also. Okay. No pain. No, no pain. No. But it's very important. You don't forget you have it inside. If you forget, then you leave it inside. Then there could be some health problems. No. It's important you remember to change it. Disadvantage. Yeah, you need a place to wash it and you need a place to boil it. No, you want to make sure you sterilize it. So you have to feel comfortable to boil it. Of course, putting it inside for many women, it's a fear, especially like you said, you too, you know, oh, what is this? It's so big. Of course, it's a fear. It's normal, no? Because if you're not used it before, it's a, it's a fear. Okay. So how many products have we seen? We've seen a lot of products, no? Five products. So now take, take one minute. You think about all the five products, okay? And you think in terms of rank. First rank, second rank. What do you like as a first rank? What is a second rank, okay? Then I'm going to show each product and you raise your hand for which one you like or don't like or, and you can tell me your reasons. And be honest, it's okay. Whichever one is you feel like, you know, if you feel curious about it also, you can put it in the rank, okay? So, shall I give you a few seconds? Think about it. So the first one, what did we see? We saw the disposable, right? First rank. Second rank? You can raise your hands. You have to raise your hands. First rank? Who for who? Okay. Second rank? Three. Okay. Second one, cloth. First rank? First rank? Uh, you have to pick only two. Okay. So if it's first, you have to say first. You can't pick two for first. Only one. So first rank? One, two, three, four. Okay. For cloth. Uh, second rank? First rank? All of you raised first rank for cloth also. Okay, first rank, how many p women? Second rank? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, second rank? Four. Tampon first? Ah, second? Uh, cup? First? <laughs> one person for first. Second? No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so many of you raised your hands for cloth as the first one, right? Why did you like it? You feel comfortable in it, then? We don't buy. We don't have to buy. Then? Reuse. Reuse. Okay. Almost the uh, shape and cloth is almost the same uh, size. Uh. But it's, it's not spoiling our. Yes. The cloth is not spoiling our. Right? So you feel the for the health reasons you're liking it, for the cost reasons some of you like it, for comfortable reasons other people like it. Okay. What about um, for second rank, three of you chose disposable. Why do you like it? Why did you like it, like it as your second option? Comfortable? Mm. So you're afraid that if you take it outside, there might be smell. So you prefer if you're outside to use disposable. Okay. Second preference four of you chose. Why did you like it? It's also more comfortable. More comfortable? It's also healthy. Healthy? Less cost. Less cost. Looks like the disposable pad, right? Yeah. You chose it as your first option. Why did you like it as your first option? <laughs> you were like one not able to choose. But in the end, you chose it. The cost is less. The cost is less and you, you're feeling curious. So only you have actually tried it. The others have not tried it, right? Okay. Cup, madam, what is it your first choice? It's really comfortable once you get used to it. Once you get used to it, it's very comfortable. Okay, what am I using? Has anybody asked? Cup, cloth. Cup, cloth. I use both. I use the cloth pad. 
I use cloth, sometimes if I can't find anything else, I'll see what is in my cupboard, I'll take some cloth and I'll use it. Or I use a cup or a cloth pad. And I've been using cloth pads for about uh, five years and cups for about five years also. And I like, depending on where, what situation, I like to use cups if I'm swimming or if I'm traveling and I know that washing a cloth pad can be hard, I use a cup. Otherwise, I like cloth pad because it's releasing, no, it is not staying inside, it's coming outside. So I like to use a cloth pad and I like it because it's soft, it's comfortable, very easy to wash. Once you're used to washing it, it's two minutes to wash it. You leave it for one hour, come back two minutes, wash it dry, easy. So I like that aspect also. Preeti, what do you use? I use both depending on the situation, of course, when I'm traveling I use menstrual cups and uh, else I use uh, cotton clothes, that's like Ecofem clothes because it's much more comfortable and I, I don't feel like I have, you know, something down there uh, inside my panties. So it's really comfortable, it's like just I'm wearing my panties, like, you know, it's like a cloth. This is our choices, now you know yours. Um, in the end, if you are interested to try a cup or an Ecofem pad, uh, you can talk to me, I can see how to make it available for you. Cloth, you know, it's at your home, your choice, no problem. If you want to stitch in your own house, you don't want to buy, you don't want to depend on us, you can also, it's so easy to stitch it also, no? You can also take cloth, you cut it like this, then you stitch it all together. You just have an um, extra umbrella material or something like that, a raincoat material. Use it as your last layer, then no leaking also. So it's very easy, you don't have to buy it. You can also make it at your own home, that's your choice also. That's all for the product analysis, ladies. Uh, how do you feel at the end? This, you learned something new, did you feel like? Yeah? So, you learned lots? Okay, perfect. You have any questions about this process or anything about the product, anything, any questions?